A couple of months ago, I posted a video where I started my journey with Coternix quails. A lot of time has passed since then, and I wanted to share with you my experiences with these birds to hopefully give you an idea of what you'll be getting yourself into. For this video, I'm going to mostly be comparing them to chickens because in my eyes, chickens are the standard and everything else is an add-on or an afterthought. These birds are pretty quiet, especially when compared to chickens. Chickens are their own background noise. What I mean by this, just standing around for seemingly no reason, they'll make noise just to make noise. Just listen to them. And I'll compare this to the quails. It's hard to even record them because the chickens are just so loud and drown out the quails. The males do crow, however, but believe me when I say that it's not that big of a deal. They're nowhere near as loud nor as iconic as roosters, so even if your neighbors heard it, chances are they'll just think it's a wild bird and go about their day. Here for yourself. The food situation with the quails is a bit of a mixed bag. On the one hand, they do eat less than chickens, but on the other hand, you can only feed them very specific food. In my opinion, one of the biggest reasons to keep chickens is that they aren't picky and will eat any of your leftover food scraps. Quails are just too small to do any of that. Their beaks just can't handle anything smaller than crumbles. I never knew this, but quails drink water like they're fish or something. Every other day, I need to refill this big hanging waterer of theirs because it just runs out. It's not like they're sick or anything. They bounce around, eat and poop just like they should. They just love water for some reason. To put this into perspective, we leave this pot out for the chickens to drink. Assuming they don't just turn it into a toilet, I only need to clean and refill it once a week, maybe twice in the hot summer months. On the topic of cleaning and refilling, wow, are they messy eaters. It's almost like they'll only eat what's in their dish. This at face value doesn't seem like too much of a problem until you realize that they love to scratch at their food even if it's all made of the same thing. It's like when your cat meows for food when its bowl is still very much full of dry food. So you shake the bowl a little bit and suddenly the dry food turns into a gourmet meal. The chickens aren't innocent of this crime either. They scratch at their food just as much as the quails. What the chickens have going for them is that they'll eat whatever, wherever, and whenever. An egg is an egg as far as I'm concerned. Only thing I did notice, however, is that the quail eggs are so brittle. It's not like they're thin or anything. I mean, brittle. When I try to crack them open, so many tiny fragments drop into the bowl. Maybe I'm just using them wrong, or my quails are just some weird freaks with extra brittle eggs. It just doesn't make sense. I know there are scissors you can get that make this process so much easier, but if I have to buy something just to get at my own eggs, they're not worth it. In terms of taste, texture, and quality, chickens and quails are pretty evenly matched. If you know what you're doing, you can clean a quail much quicker than you can a chicken thanks to the size difference, and it's this size difference that really gives quails their moment of fame. If you want to make soup, you have to mess with cutting up your chicken into quarters, and that's a minor inconvenience you just don't have to go through with quails. Just toss in one or two of them into a pot and call it a day. Or if you want to be really fancy, you can make everyone their own personal mini rotisserie chickens. Except we'll both know that they're actually quails. I won't tell if you won't. Quails have notable advantages and disadvantages when compared to chickens. In some specific situations, quails can be superior to chickens, but all things being equal, I believe chickens are the better poultry. They're easier to feed, they lay better eggs, and they're generally just more practical. Granted, quails are quieter, and the meat is more convenient and delicate. There's just something about raising a quail only to kill it that doesn't sit right with me. It's something else entirely if I get a lot of use out of it. Like the chickens and their eggs, and then harvest meat when the laying slows down. If you liked what you saw, why not consider subscribing and hitting the notification icon to stay up to date on when I post. If you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later. But until next time, bye.